So I have these flatworms all over my mushroom corals, some palithoas, some zoanthids, and it's time to get rid of them. And the fastest way to do that is by using Revive from Two Little Fishies. It's a way to clean up your corals if it has any pest on them. And we're gonna take a look in this video just how many flatworms and pests come off of these corals. Now having flatworms in your reef tank can reach plague proportions very fast. And while there are some wrasses that will help pick off these little pests, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to eliminate a large amount all at once. Time to get these corals out of the tank, so I grabbed my favorite five gallon bucket that has the water lines marked on the side so you know exactly where to fill the water up to. Once the water was in the buckets, it's time to grab the problematic corals, and I'm going to do that with a music montage. So I grabbed a few mushroom corals and some palithoas and you can see just how many flatworms are on these corals. So it was time to add Revive to the water and I added one gallon of water so I'm using four capfuls of Revive. This should be more than enough to knock out the flatworms that are on these corals so once you finish putting Revive into the water, it's time to mix the water around. I added an air stone to keep the water moving as I mixed. Mixing the water around and moving the corals around really jog free the pests that are stuck on the corals and the rock rubble. You can see just how many flatworms are falling off of these corals. You can see them wiggling around and Revive is doing its job. There's a bristle worm in there and other things moving around and just falling free from the corals. It always amazes me how many different creatures and just how many flatworms fall off of the corals whenever you put them through a coral dip like this. There's so many that you can see sitting on top of the coral, but once you dip them, they all just come out of any crevice, any part of the coral, underneath the coral, on top of the coral, and there's just a lot of flatworms that were inside the corals that I pulled from the tank. So if you're dealing with a situation like this and you're able to get the corals out of your system and put them in a dip, Revive definitely does work and it's my go-to coral dip. So as you can see, there was a ton of flatworms in there just wiggling around moving and they're completely off of the corals now so we can put them back in the tank like nothing ever happened so i added some water to another bucket now the water in this bucket is what i used to rinse off the corals and put them back into the tank so when you're using a coral dip it's very important to rinse those corals off shake any remnants of any pests or any debris that might be on the coral and then you can start putting them back in the tank. Now when placing the corals, I put the palithoas back where they were next to the zoanthid rock, and I put the mushroom corals back on the right side of the tank. The red mushroom corals in the rock holder, I put that one back in the same spot as well. So with pulling a gallon of water out of the aquarium and probably another gallon more to rinse the corals before I put them back in the tank. I just went ahead and pulled out a little bit more water and did a quick five gallon water change on the entire system. So anytime you see any flatworms or pests on a coral that you can easily take out of your tank, go ahead and use Revive or some kind of coral dip to help take care of that. So if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and click or tap the, your screen to watch this video. I know you're gonna love it. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.